All right. What's up, guys? Um, Andre here of Beef Utaki, and I just wanted to uh, make this video real quick because I just finished watching the Ernesto Lopez video on the whole um, FGC piracy thing with low tier gun, all these other people being affected and stuff like that. And there's a lot of confusion going on. Um, someone announced something about a tool coming out. Um, now, what's funny is is that in the video, they're talking about a particular... They're, they're talking about a particular um, tool that's supposed to be coming out. And in all honesty, it there is a new tool coming out. The problem is, is that the content needs to reside on YouTube. So now, as an FGC <laughs> broadcaster, as someone who basically travels to all these events and things like that, um, you kind of have to have a system in place where your content appears on YouTube at the same time. So th this is the whole reason why I developed what I developed, because given the fact that last year I went into YouTube's offices, had a nice little sit down with them, can't really discuss about many of the things that's going on, but since the tool has been leaked and things like that, I can specifically state that the tool is going to be rolling out. Um, the tool should be rolling out within the next couple of months. Who knows? But when it comes down to that particular tool, your content that you can claim or strike, it has to reside there. Meaning, you can't go do a tournament on Twitch. Stream it to Twitch only. If someone decides that, hey, we're going to take it and post it on YouTube, guess who has the rights to it? the person who posted it on YouTube because of the simple fact that one, you can't now monetize it because it's not on YouTube with YouTube. Now moving over to this platform, to this method of um, handling copyrights and things like that. You now have to develop something where you guys can now post. You, it's like you guys have to be able to have your stuff on there. The method that I use which I will carefully share in another video later on, it's very simple. You basically, I mean, it, it's as simple as signing up for a Restream.io account, and that's it. Basically, I stream to Twitch, Final Round, Winter Brawl, NEC, um, any event that I do. A lot of them are Twitch exclusive. And they say Twitch exclusive because no one knows that I'm streaming it on YouTube. And what ends up happening is I'll stream the stuff to Twitch, as well as streaming it to YouTube. I have an AD that basically will sit next to me, and as each match is happening, he will, uh, he or she will actually chop up each match individually. So this way, when the match is done, the matches can go public. Now, given the fact that it takes roughly about, I don't know, 45 minutes for a content thief to steal it, and then post it up to their YouTube, I basically have the legal rights since I've uploaded it first, especially since I'm the one who's streaming it, and especially since I'm the one who's streaming it to YouTube as well. So I can basically sit here and say that this tool will work great for me. Now, as for the method I use, I use a completely different method, only because I like Restream, it's just that Restream doesn't do certain things that I want it to do. Um, like archiving it locally, different things like that. If I want to replay something, I could actually replay something from off my Nginx RTMP server and all that other stuff. I'll get into all of that stuff in another video. But as for this video, I, I feel like there's like some misconceptions. So like somebody was like, oh, Ninja's about to make all this money and this, that, and the other off of people who re-uploads this stuff. Ninja ain't going to make shit. Unless Ninja uh, starts doing the same thing that I'm doing, Ninja's not going to make shit. Dr. Disrespect isn't going to make money off of those other people and stuff like that. The only thing that he could do is post up copyright um, strikes to strike the video down because they're basically re-uploading a video from something that was on Twitch. So that, that's basically how that goes. Because YouTube is not going to give you rev revenue for something that's on Twitch. 
there there needs to be some type of a connection to it on YouTube. So unless there's no if there's no connection to it on YouTube, there's no way for them to match it. There's no way for them to to be able to even notice if it belongs to you. So that that's basically all I wanted to say on it. Um I thank you for posting that video, Ernesto. It it it, it is something that's needed. And I didn't know you worked with some of these people that I've striked. Like Yoga Flame 24, he's someone I've talked to after striking him and he didn't realize that what he was doing was wrong and he actually changed his tune after a while like he before i remember he used to post up videos from like recorded matches from like street fighter 4 ultra street fighter 4 and stuff like that and he went into street fighter 5 as well as some other games and he used to take those and at one point he started doing the whole taking matches and stuff like that and me and him have had like long conversations on twitter through dms and stuff like that and he was very apologetic, and that's one person I could say is a really good dude. These other guys, fuck you. Like, dead ass. Like, fuck you. Because I got this one dude who's trying to do a content, what what is it? A content notification. He He's trying to, like, do some, like, type of notification where he's basically trying to say that I had nothing to do with the tournament or that I wasn't the one who streamed the tournament. And... YouTube is kind of like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, he has it live streamed on his on his YouTube, and your time code is well 45 to an hour delayed of his. So, obviously, he, he's the rightful owner of it because he has it up there first. And, and this is the one thing. So, going forward, the best advice I can give to the people just like me, like Teen Spooky, like Low Tier God, like Gutex, like all these other people. One, Restream.io, perfect, perfect solution for you. Perfect solution. Easily set it up. You stream the stream, Restream.io, you send a feed to YouTube, you send a feed to Twitch. Guess what you do? You unlist. Unlist or set it private. Set, set your YouTube stream to private or unlist, and no one will be able to find it. You could have someone chop it up, or you can just basically leave it and then upload the individual matches later, if that's what you want to do. Like, I'm basically teach, showing you guys a workflow. I'm suggesting a workflow. Not telling you, just suggesting. That, that's the better word for it. Um, when it comes down, that, that, that's one way. The second way is broadband TV, TGN, which is what we're mostly all with. We're mostly all with the same one. I've never had an issue with them striking anybody, period. I've emailed them. Maybe I should give you the email contact that I have. But the email contact I have, 100% success, success rate. 100%. No issues. Whether it's on Twitch, whether it's on YouTube. I can send whatever. You won't have an issue. So, Art, I'll be sure to send you that person's info shortly. Um, number three, the next option that you could actually do is what I use, which is the Nginx RTMP server. Um, basically, I have a server that sits somewhere else, and it could be here. It could be, like, I have several of them. So I can basically set it here or whatever. I stream to that, and then from that, I stream it streams to wherever I want to go. So a lot of times you might see me go live on Facebook. A lot of times you might see me go live on on Twitch, YouTube. Well, you guys don't know about the YouTube, but I do go live on YouTube. So a lot of times I'll go to Twitch. A lot of times it'll go to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, Mixer, Smashcast, whatever. Like I basically like flood the market with everything that I possibly can, just so that this way you guys can see that it's there and i also do this as a i do this so that this way i have another point of origin for doing copyright strikes um youtube will respect anything if you live stream it to something else when you fill out that copyright form in there it specifically states if you if someone re-uploaded from your youtube or they just basically took it from someplace else if you cite that you have like 12 sites that you can show where you stream this and you can show the archive of it, you are 100% better than half the other people. So, again, 
take use this as a resource. Restream, um, switchboard slash Joycaster, Joycast, I mean, and Nginx RTMP. Those are your three options. Also, your MCN, which is more likely broadband TV, TGN, the game network, which is all basically the same. Find someone. Like, just demand that you talk to someone that can do better. That That's it. Like, I'll send you. If you guys need the info, hit me up. You know where to fucking find me. My DMs are always open. All right? Um, with that being said, thank you for uh, watching this video. Again, I appreciate all the hard work that all you guys do in the FGC. It's the reason why I do what I do and stuff like that. And I thank you again. Peace.